The diverse children's book that I chose is Pocahontas, The Princess of the New World, written by Kathleen Cruel and pictured by David Diaz. I chose this book because it is one of my favorite childhood stories and it also covers a lot of diverse information that is provided in our textbook. The book is actually kind of long so I'm going to read the excerpt and then show you a few pictures. It is said that one woman saved the first English colony in the New World from death, famine, and utter confusion, Pocahontas. She was a true American princess, favored daughter of the chief of the Powhatan Indians, and a girl in motion, always laughing, teasing, and dancing. But the course of her life would change when English colonists founded Jamestown in Powhatan Territory in 1607. Fantasized by her new neighbors, Pocahontas seemed to be the key to shaking peace between the colonists and the Powhatans. According to jo Captain John Smith, the Indian princess even saved his life twice. Pocahontas' impact on European culture didn't end when Smith returned to England. Her ability to embrace both worlds helped, bridges, helped bridge their differences. For hundreds of years, after the world-changing clash of cultures, Pocahontas is still remembered and celebrated for her curiosity and courage. For the first time in more than 10 years, acclaimed author Colleen Cruel and illustrator David Diaz reunite to recount the real facts about a woman who has been shrouded in fantasy and mystery for far too long. First, I will show you a picture of Pocahontas. And then the chief and his fellow um, tribesmen. And then we have a picture of John Smith with his Englishmen. And then in the very end, we have a storyteller's note that just goes more in depth about the history of Pocahontas and what all Catherine Cool and David Diaz um, learned. There are many themes to be taken away from Pocahontas. And the one that I find the most important diversity wise is the understanding of culture. Pocahontas' innocence and curiosity of the new settlers um, aided her in gaining this new understanding. The two differentiating cultures were able to exchange information and bring peace, just but for a little while. And an activity that a teacher could uh, do with their students is compare and contrast the different cultures of the Potawatomi Indians and the Englishmen. For example, some uh, a contrast is the way that they um, portray their religion. So the um, Indians have many gods, and while the Englishmen have one god uh, through Christianity. Another example is the royalty. They have princesses and chiefs with many wives for the Potawans, and then the Englishmen have princesses and kings and queen, and one queen. Um, and there are also several more similarities and differences that a teacher could use in their activity. Um, so I hope you use this book to teach your future students about diversity. Thanks.